Number 15. Indicate the most important type of intermolecular attraction responsible for solvation in each of the following solutions. And then we have methane, which is CH4, is being dissolved in benzene, which is C6H6. Okay. So it seems like we have CH4, which I'll write down over here. So we have CH4 being dissolved in C6H6. Now we have to find out the most important type of attraction, intermolecular attraction, exists between these two molecules. Now I wrote down the intermolecular attractions uh, that are seen throughout all covalent compounds. We have dispersion forces, dipole-dipole, and hydrogen bonding. The most important type of intermolecular force is always the uh, strongest, we'll say, we'll say it's the strongest attraction that, uh, you know, the molecules share. So it's the strongest attraction that is in common. Now, on this list that I wrote here, dispersion, two dipole, dipole, two hydrogen bonding, just know that dispersion forces are, are the weakest uh, intermolecular attraction because nothing, uh, nothing special about them. All molecules have dispersion forces. And then as you go up and up, you get more and more and more specific. So the hydrogen bonding is the strongest intermolecular attraction. And that would be if, if both of these had uh, hydrogen bonding, that would be the most important type because the most important type is the strongest one that they have in common. But the thing is, is, well, what does CH4 have and what does benzene have, right? C6H6. Now, in order to answer this question, uh, we always think in terms of Lewis structures. If I just quickly draw the Lewis structures for CH4 and C6H6, we can categorize what type of compound this is using SNAP, right? Symmetrical, nonpolar, asymmetrical, polar. CH4 is a carbon in the middle surrounded by the four hydrogens. And if you're asking yourself, wait, how did, how did I get that Lewis structure? You could always go back to Lewis structure videos on our channel. There's tons of them where we go step by step and I teach you along the way. I'm there every step of the way for you guys um, how to get the Lewis structure. So this would be the methane one. And then C6H6, this one is a little challenging, uh, mainly because for this one, it's um, one of the biggest organic molecule, um, we'll say, uh, categories. So it's, it's a pretty important one. Benzene is always going to be a six-membered ring. So maybe I'll draw it like this. It's a six-membered carbon chain, and it's in a ring. And each carbon has the one hydrogen, so that's why it's C6H6. And then, inside the ring, there's alternating double and single bonds. So if I say this is a single, this is a double, single, double, single, double, and then if you keep going around, it like never ends. Single, double, single, double, all the way around and around and around again. So now... According to SNAP, would these be polar or nonpolar? Well, this is completely symmetrical. I got, uh, if I break this up into like four slices of pizza, and I cut this like this, right? Every single slice through the carbon, they're all hydrogens. So this is completely nonpolar. And then if we go to this one, is there any symmetry between the benzene? And for sure, right? If I draw, if I you know draw a line this way, three carbons, three hydrogens on top, three carbons, three hydrogens on the bottom, and seems like you know the double cancels out, the single bond cancels out. So this is also nonpolar. So now we have enough information to find out what type of intermolecular forces they have. Dispersion forces, also known as London forces, but all molecules have these. So CH4 has dispersion, and so does the benzene. But now since 
we said that they were both nonpolar, they would not have dipole-dipole attractions because only polar molecules have these. And for hydrogen bonding, only molecules with NH, OH, or FH have hydrogen bonding. This is a CH. They both have CHs. That is not one of the specific bonds to form hydrogen bonding. So the only intermolecular attraction that CH4 has is dispersion, and the only one that the benzene has is dispersion. The most important type is always the strongest attraction that's in common, and these only have dispersion in common. So the most important one has to be dispersion. And that is the end of the question. So let's box it off and call it a video. Whoopie whoop. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I try to get back to you as much as I can. Uh, thank you for being part of the community. Um, just awesome to see the channel growing and it's all because of you guys. Thank you for allowing us to have this platform and to spread it all over the world so that, you know, everybody can have a source of education that's free. Uh, check the channel out. We also have physics and math videos on the channel and with much, uh, hopefully much more subjects in the future. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.